Alrighty folks, it's going to be a short video as we just are simply going to be taking out another Eye of Cthulhu. I'm going to wait till night time, obviously to do it, but it is something that we're going to do. So, for now we'll just dig around a little bit while night hits. Making sure we have everything ready, we have the potions ready. Electro Potion, Potion of Swiftness, and Thorn Potion. And the ever popular regen potion. We have arrows. And oh god, what did I just drink? Swiftness potion, apparently. Okay, we have arrows. Flaming arrows. And the bow, the newly crafted demon's bow. And that's all really neat. So, we'll just dig around a little bit until night hits. I want the sound of that. I don't really need to keep that one, the hunter, the archery potion in the in there because well, we only have one of them, so not a whole lot of uh, needing to keep track of it. There's one more. Is that another? there? We can go check on our jungle grass. We have, you can see that there's two moon glow that have actually grown, so finally starting to get a little bit more respectable moon glow uh, collection going on. That's nice. And you know, I have no idea why there's moon glow growing in this. Maybe it's simply because um, you just need to be longer. Could be a very thing. Could it could very well be a thing. You just need to be longer. So who knows? Rest seeds now. We're gonna try to remove everything that isn't a moon glow dealio. That should work. We have wood. We could use wood to make uh, some torches and some more arrows, so we should probably do that actually. Alright, we'll go ahead and do that. Oh, we managed to uh, get some auto leave actually. Oops. Actually, let's use the gel instead of making torches and make potions with it. But for that, we need empty bottles. Yeah. Just get six, jump find one. What is this? Alright, potion, we already have a few of those, so we're okay with that. That many. Go ahead and sort some of this stuff back out. <laughs> Cactus. Take bloom, water leaf. That's about right. That's okay. Start here. Some more blocks from where we do need to build something huge or something. Good to have those around. There's a Belunky potion, which is nice. Combine these two. Nothing much over here. We'll just place our miscal miscellaneous stuff down here, I think. This small tidbit that I don't exactly know what to do with. Chill there, wooden hammer. For me right now, the dirt block, here, some grass. We'll need the thorns potions. Iron ore that has a, that dude that does have a place to go, so that's okay. The axe is gonna go somewhere after. We need the wood actually right now, so we can take some dirt. Or not some dirt, some stone back. to make arrows. There they are. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. We get three arrows for every one bit of wood and every one block of stone, so that's good. There we go. 
Five gold now to the uh, boss dropping the two boys. I think that's good. So money wise, we're set pretty well. And now we can make some flame arrows. I think I may have too many though. To be honest with you. There we go. That's fine. That's a good amount of flame arrows. Set. Now we just have to wait for the uh, night time to roll around. We need to kill some time. <sighs> I'll keep gardening up here, guys. Who knows, maybe we will get a moon blow this time. two months left. I don't know. Let's check on our blue mushroom farm. See how that's doing. Cells are about half a health potion, so they're not bad. And they do make the very nice uh, super potion, so that's good. I know I should just jump through those by like using the ground. Once night time hits, I will uh, harvest those two little moon glow. I will put them here. Actually, I should probably harvest all this water leaf over here too, at some point. I think we'll get added. Most of it, yeah. I can get most of it from over here. A lot more water leaf. It's very good. It's actually this full row of water leaf. So that's awesome. That's always awesome. Okay. Let's back. Hey, bunnies. I wish you could tame bunnies as a pet or something. You know? Like I'm, I'm all fine with local, local local fauna and everything, but I wish I could. I just want them as my pet. <laughs> Once the Moongo uh, sprouts, that's kind of the, what I use as a sign of, hey, you can uh, go ahead and start the fight. I don't need this iron ore here. I don't know why I still have it. 
Oh, I had it because of Nick Torch. Right. Go ahead and, uh, get this where it belongs. We have a few gems, so I'm happy. You do want to keep those, because again, now you can you now craft jungle armor instead of just finding it, so. Gets to be careful. Just waiting a little bit more on the on the uh, night time to roll around. There you go. These two moon glow are up. I take that as a sign of night officially here. You do want as long, you know, you do want as much time as you can because this thing takes this might this does take a while. Alright. Hopefully it goes as well as it did before. Get up to our stage area. We're gonna fight the little bastard. Slowly. I don't wanna die, none of them up here, you know. It'd be funny if I died. Alright, we're here. Alright. And I want it to start using the fire arrows. Get, get this out, wait for it to come. There we go. Alright. Here we are. We're good. Gonna do one more lunge and then it will chill out. Let's see, I have the pull form, the form, the form portion. So it does hit me. It does take damage, which I'm happy about. This will be, this will be significantly easier this time around. died from hitting myself. Makes this a whole lot easier. Yeah, you can see they're just dying to the thorn potion. That's awesome. Gotta be careful. You gotta, you can't get too cocky because this will kill you. Almost. Once we hit halfway, we switch to the unholy arrows. There we go. Now we're at 21. Holy arrows do have the niceness of going through them. So you can also use these in the early on stage to get a better angle at the bastard. Uh, I'm gonna pick them up a little bit though, because they are kind of rare. So. Do it at a thousand. Next swift potion, everything's been used. 182. Let's see if we can get it to die. Oh god. Oh, oh, oh. Alright. Good. What do we get back? We got some corrupt seeds. Awesome. Alright, good fight. Good long fight. And we can use this to make a Light's Bane sword, which eventually will become a Knight's Bane. But for now, it's also just a really good sword on its own. Oh look, another, another night bloom. Night bloom. I, I keep switching names. It's night. It's moon glow, not night bloom. You idiot. Where's the pot? Or did I already plant it? Oh, okay, I must plant it right. There we go. That is the second I defeated. Awesome. And not that hard. this amount of moon glow, I can go ahead and make the light spain. And now we have our awesome 16 damage sword. And I'm going to go show you that my two swords actually do come up to crap into something else. For example, this sword, 
Oh, I guess not. Hm. This sword does craft into the Knight's Edge, which is a Muramasa, red like blade of grass, fiery great sword, and other things. And you also need a demon altar. Okay. I thought this became the blade of grass, but apparently I'm wrong. Okay. Anyways, we are about as decked out as I feel comfortable being until the next patch. Our next goal would be to go into the jungle. Yeah. Jungle. We're up to 16 demonite bar. We could we could make an axe. But I don't feel like it would be nice. Or I don't feel like we need it. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and set this back to normal. I'm telling that uh, the regen potion is probably the best thing for these things. That's what I feel probably helps me out the most when you're fighting these bosses. I'm going to carry the holy arrows with me. The unholy arrows with me, so I'm gonna go ahead and put them. Let's see. We're gonna put these. Blink root seeds can chill with the other blink root seeds. We can go there. These corrupt seeds can chill here, I guess. I don't know. These potions, I need a place to put them, so I'll go ahead and put them in one of these chests. And we are back to normal. We will put also the uh, short sword, the silver sword, in this chest. So now that, now that now even if we do die, we have something to fall back on at least, which is good. Move what goes here. there. And now, I think, the next couple of videos will me just be, I don't know, go want to keep advancing? Because I could, now that I have the Night's Edge, I feel much more light Bane. Like, can, I can never say anything right. Now that I have the Light's Bane, I feel much more comfortable um, going after jungle. Getting trying to get jungle armor. I could easily get meteorite if I found a little bit more gold. We could go spelunking. I don't know. I think I'm gonna just do some redesigning, maybe, and maybe yeah, finally add a few more houses so I can get uh, the arms merchant to come. I can definitely just put him down here somewhere. Maybe finally finish up the little mushroom farm over here that we've been that I've been supposedly working on. Cough, cough. But we do have that meteor that's uh, off somewhere, so we could go try and get that. I don't know. We have some choices to do. We have some choices, we have main choices. But for this video. Just want to take out the Ad Cthulhu real quick. And we did. So that's nice. Go ahead. Oh, we gotta find a way to put that's this is fine. Just want to take out the Ad Cthulhu and we did. That was accomplished, which is nice. We do have a spooling potion, so we pop no, you know what? Next video, we're gonna go spooling again, get more gold of the ore stuck in. So we're gonna try and actually get uh, diamond, not diamond, gold this time, so I can make a pick. So not too far, I think it's 12 for a pick, let's check. Before we end the video, let's check how many it is for a pick. We have enough spelunking potions for I can. We have seven of them, so I think. I'm happy with that number. It is nine! Oh ho ho, it is nine for a 12 for a pick. It's like, it's nine? No, because it's 12. Okay, so 12, yeah, four more gold bars. That's what, three times four, what was eight, 16? Yeah. Which may be just one big vein or a few small ones. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Alright, guys, thanks for watching. And I will see you all later. Adios.